Hello, I will show you how to do the third chapter of the Correct C++ course. If we are at the main page of the Correct C++ course, the third chapter is called Hello World. And if I click on it, it will take me to that chapter. The goal of that chapter is to write a, a Hello World program, which is a minimal example that does something useful. And we need to know how this course works, and we need to have written the correct Hello program. That was the previous chapter. So I'm going to show you, um, for those who forgot how this course works, I'll just put it in a separate tab, and I'll follow that just to be a bit more explicit in what I'll be doing. Okay. So first we need to do is uh, fork our chapter. Well, let's fork our chapter rule. We go up, we click on fork, and we have forked our chapter. Second step, while that's busy, we have to clone our fork. Well, let's do so. Still busy. To clone our fork, we have to copy the URL here. Git clone, up, and we have cloned our fork. Now we need to activate Travis CI. Well, let's go to travis-ci.org. We sign in with GitHub. And perhaps it has already detected our GitHub, but perhaps not yet. So let's take a look at my account. Yes, so it's already there. No need to sync my account. And just activate it. Done. Next step, modify the readme. Well, let's do that. CD correct CPP hello world. So we're in the folder and we need to modify the readme. And what we need to do is replace a Richel Bilderbeek slash correct CPP underscore this thing by your username. That correct Richel Bilderbeek is replaced by this user is called correct CPP. Like if you if you put that correct underscore cpp underscore there, then all the links keep working um, or they are changed as just as you like it. All right, so replace all done. So now the links in the readme are correct. Uh, let's see what our next step is. Do the exercise. All right, that will be fun. Now we get to the real work. We need to write a hello world program. Um, we should use C out. We should not use end line. All right. And for that, I like to use um, to to do some C++ program. I like to use Qt Creator, and there is a download here. I'm going to use that thing. So it's a. Uh, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. So this is the text, but you don't need to comprehend it at all. You just need to save the page as, and then in the folder of where you will be working, which is correct. Cpp Hello World. I like to just keep it main dot pro. It's fine. You can call it correct. Cpp Hello World dot pro, but this is just fine. Alright, so now I have this project file in my hello world folder. If I do ls, I see it's here. Let's open it using Qt Creator. Correct cpp hello world main pro submenu and I open it with Qt Creator. I need to configure my project, just click there, it should work. At the left we see our project is a bit small, I can't get I can't get this bigger. But if I go to main uh, if, if uh, all these things are extended, main, we now have to write a correct Hello World program. Um, well, so let's first do the coding. int main stitch out hello world backslash n, no end line. We need to include IO stream to get that working. And of course, you need to document it. So we need three comments. There are two ways to do doxygen documentation I, I prefer this one um, uh, minimal uh, 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 hello world program done so I think I've done the exercise correctly let's see let's run it locally you can just click it here and see if it runs yes this looks awesomely correct so let's close it I assume I'm done let's go to the next step next step do the did that push your code well let's do that Get add so all files that are changed. Put them in a commit called done exercise. And I'm going to push my code. And now we're going to back to the GitHub. And it has not updated yet, but if I push refresh here, I'm pretty sure it will be there. Yes, done exercise. So what we see is that this build status is still grey. That's because Travis needs to work on it. So let's take a look at what Travis is doing. Um, 
it ha doesn't have any finished builds yet within the build history we can see that it's working on this exercise so this will work the, this will take some time so I'll just um, stop my video here and I'll see you when it's done it takes two minutes or so all right hello here we're back so um, Travis has finished um, correcting my work so I have done the exercise and if I scroll down I see all green things going on in the end line it says done your build exited with zero which means I've done it correctly so that's great um, let's take a look at um, our um, github so this badge turns to green and I have done the exercise correctly <laughs>